We're at Hardin Valley Elementary School. I was in a class where the kids were learning about robotics. What struck me is this is the same exact technology that's used on factory floors. When we think about the fundamentals of education, reading, writing, and arithmetic, I would argue that nowadays, computational science, robotics, engineering, all of those things fit right in there because to function in an advanced economy, you have to know how to do those things. Our students are working on doing more with robotics because we know autonomous movements in factories and manufacturing, especially here around Knoxville, is growing. We have less of a workforce, so we need our students to adapt to what is going to be the demand in the current work field when they graduate. So for our students to grasp that, we have to start early. So we were working today on software engineering, that's their role today, and they were working specifically on conditional formatting. So they had to know if the car was going to encounter this obstacle, how do we use conditional formatting to tell the car to either use a braking system or to turn out of the area? And so that's what they were working on as second graders. STEM education is really the future, honestly. Um, there's a shortage of engineers in our world, you know, shortage of teachers too, but um, it's just the future, all of the creating and all the innovative designs and especially with this, you kind of step back and it's less about the outcome than it is about the process and the inquiry work that they do. And it's just cool to open their eyes up at this level to show them that they can do big things. Yeah, it really is cool to see a class as predominant girls taught by women and just shows you the opportunities that are available. And I think it's really, important to reinforce, especially with girls and young women, that there are tremendous opportunities for them in science and engineering. I think it's going to be something that continues to grow in Knox County because we're an innovative area. We've seen more manufacturing move in, we've seen different groups, scientific groups and study groups move into the area, and currently we lack the workforce. We know that people don't move away from the area. Most people live within 10 miles of where they grew up. And if we think about that, we need to start home growing our people. And in order for that to happen, we need to expose them to STEM careers earlier on.